Alert tonight and police searching for a thief who stole a family stroller and other items from their newborn right out of their car. In a story you'll see on Just One Station, Kelly Kennedy spoke with the heartbroken parents. The baby's father is in the military and he's stationed in Texas. He came home to Akron to visit his mom and this is his truck right here. He parked it right here on Robindale, right in front of his mom's home. And when he woke up Tuesday morning, he found that his newborn son's baby monitor and stroller were missing. Honestly, I was a little scared, honestly, just visiting in this area and something like that happened so close to our newborn. Uh, I mean, it's it's material thing, so I'm not really too concerned about it. I mean, obviously it's expensive, but it can be replaced. So I'm just glad that you know everyone was safe. And Ryan Sullivan and his wife Abigail were so excited to come home with their new baby for the holidays, but they never expected they'd become the victims of a crime. And you would think they open up the truck and see baby stuff like, hey, well, this is off limits, but no. No off limits for thieves, I guess. The family realized their car had been broken into around 845 Tuesday morning. In addition to the stroller and baby monitor, the thieves also stole a box of diapers, the keys to their apartment, some soccer gear, glasses, and the couple's credit cards. They even used some of the cards. So in total, it sounds like that stuff's pretty expensive. About how much money would you think you're out from all the stuff that was stolen? We added it up to about $2,800. Yeah. And even more than the money, they're now forced to go without some of the things they desperately need for their one month old son. I hope that uh, whoever took the things uh, is giving it to someone and not trying to sell it and, and return a profit off of it. And, you know, it would be easy to make money off of doing stuff like that, but hopefully it goes to a good home that um, was really in need. Police tell me right now they don't have any suspects. They say in cases like this, they rely on neighbors or witnesses who may have seen something. If you think you saw something, contact police. Reporting in Akron, Kelly Kennedy, 19 News.